how you doing? We ask those questions all the time. And really, we get some interesting answers. Business is pretty good. I think business is pretty good. I'm not really sure. Those answers are not really going to help you build and grow your business. When someone asks how's business, you really need to know. And there's a few key indicators you should have at the ready at all times. Not necessarily because you're sharing them with other people, but because you need to know your business. The expression is, to know your business is to grow your business. To know the numbers is to grow the numbers. That which gets measured gets improved. And that's the justification behind making sure we fully understand the basic business parameters on which we measure the health of our business. There's a couple things you need to know in a barbershop or hair salon. Number one is what we refer to as rate of occupancy. Rate of occupancy is a simple mathematical percentage of the available appointment spaces in your shop, how many are filled. Now you can be calculating rate of occupancy as an individual renting an individual chair, or you can be calculating rate of occupancy as a salon or shop owner for an entire shop or staff. But the bottom line is how many haircuts can we produce over a given period of time and of our capacity, how many haircuts did we actually produce? So in an individual chair, if you can do two haircuts an hour, 10 hours a day, five days a week, your maximum capacity is 100 haircuts. If during that week you did 73 haircuts, your occupancy percentage is 73%. It's fairly simple when we work with hundreds with round numbers. That's why I do the math that way. If you make it too tricky, I have to get my calculator. But that's occupancy percentage, a very important measure of the health of your business. Another one we look at is what we refer to as repeat request rate. Repeat request rate is, again, a percentage of the haircuts that you cut. How many are you cutting on people you've cut before? Very simply, you add up all the haircuts that you did over a day, a week, or a month. And then you have asked as part of your greeting, if it's a new customer, have we cut your hair before? If you recognize a customer, there's no need to ask, but we want to know if it's a new or a repeat customer. You divide your total haircuts that you did by those which were done on people who you've cut before, you have your repeat request rate. Repeat request rate, when combined with rate of occupancy, is an extraordinarily accurate measure of the health of your business because if you are 80% occupied, and our industry considers 80% occupancy to be full, if you are 80% occupied with 80% repeat requests, meaning 8 out of 10 of your appointment spaces are filled and 8 out of 10 of the people that you cut are people that you've cut before, our industry considers you to be full. Anything greater than 80-80, you have some problems. We'll work on that in a different video. Anything less than 80-80, you've got work to do. You've got marketing to do, and you've got quality and service experience work to do. But 80-80 is the goal. 80% occupied with 80% repeat requests. One other important parameter is average ticket. This is less important in a barbershop scenario where you simply only offer haircuts. Because if that's all you do, every ticket will ring at the register for the exact same amount of money. But if you offer additional services, if you offer take-home hair care product, knowing your average ticket, meaning dividing your total revenue for a period, a day, a week, or a month, by the number of customers you service, will generate a figure we refer to as average ticket. Your average ticket should be growing. It should be growing through the successful suggestion and recommendation of add-on services, and it should be growing by way of the suggest successful recommendation of professional take-home hair and skin care product. If you're doing those things well, over time, your average ticket will be climbing, rising, and growing. If you have a solid understanding of rate of occupancy, repeat request rate, and average ticket, those are the basic parameters, that's the heartbeat of your business, and I can help you build and grow your business. When I do consulting for individuals and businesses, the first thing I will ask you is, what is your rate of occupancy, what is your repeat request rate, and what is your average ticket? To know the numbers is to grow the numbers, and those are the numbers you need to know. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again here at the Jatai Academy. Have a wonderful day.